Well, well, well. Looks like everybody's on fire, guys. What a game. What an epic game. Well, I missed the first, uh, I don't know, five, ten minutes of it or something. Um, it's very tough for me, guys. I, I hope you guys realize, like, when someone works overnight, that you guys will watch a game and it'll be the evening or afternoon or a reasonable time for me. It's, it's the equivalent of like watching a football game and then doing a review of it at midnight. <laughs> so I was, I was supposed to be in bed. I, I got a few hours sleep. Had to wake up to watch the game. I have to go back to sleep. Um, anyway, uh, sorry if the phone's going. It's distracting me. But it was, uh, yeah, and I missed the first 10 minutes. I did, my t of course, my dad wants me to take a photo of uh, him and my mom, so I had to do that. And I thought the game started at 3 anyways, and it's already 2.45. It started earlier over here um, than 3 o'clock, so, so I had to take the picture. I'm very dozy, as you guys can see. I'll bring some energy into the vid. Um, what a crazy game. I'll get into some rankings right now. Um, I'm not going to go too detailed here, I think. I'm going to skip over some players a bit. I don't have many markings uh, in a lot, aside from the goals and the assists. Uh, Bogdan was pretty good. I didn't see the first goal that went in, uh, so I can't mark him for that. I'm just going to give him a 9. Didn't really have many chances to deal with, but again, light 9 is what I'll go with. Uh, Randall, three positives, no minus. Light ten for Randall. Um, Skirtle, four positives, maybe a medium ten. A little more strength on that ten there, no minuses. Um, Loverin, six plus, six positives, so I'll give Loverin the ten. You know, a little bit of a heavyweight ten there, because he got one more plus than Skirtle, or two more pluses than Skirtle. Um, Moreno, okay, Moreno is iffy. Oh, I'm. To backtrack, you know, obviously Skrull's been sensational. Loverin is... I'm just loving what I'm seeing from our guys. Um, not just Loverin, but everybody. Everybody's on fire. Klopp's got everyone going. Everything's rolling our way, guys. I really think this is it. And on to Moreno. Now, apparently he's the one who made the mistake. I didn't see it. My dad, I think he caught the replay as we were getting into the game. Uh, but Moreno was still pretty epic. Uh, pretty much had that goal, and then I thought it went off Rigi's foot, and then we found out at the end of the game that he did get credited for that goal, so Moreno gets an assist. I think he might have had two assists, because for some reason I had Moreno down. When I'm writing all this stuff and trying to catch up on goals and assists, sometimes I, I maybe I make a mistake. I had Moreno down for another goal, and when I looked at my notes, I go, no, he didn't have two goals. He didn't even have one goal, but maybe perhaps he got an assist somewhere in there later on, and I'm just mark it wrong in the moment. Uh, but, you know, two minuses, two positives. Definitely affected that one goal. Maybe had another assist. I'm going to have to say Moreno. I don't know how bad the mistake was um, on D. It sounded very bad for my dad's reaction. That being said, I'm going to give Moreno. I'm going to take that into consideration, give Moreno a nine. Um, I'm not worried about Moreno on defense. Uh, and I kind of said it in the reaction vid, like, you know what, defense is a problem, no problem. Offense, boom, scores a goal, or pretty much scores a goal, and he can kick it hard, eh? Um, I'm not worried at all about Moreno. I got a, I got a real feeling about Moreno, a real good feeling, like he's going to surprise everyone. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of people, I'm sure a lot of you guys know he's a great player, um, but he's got his criticisms on D. I'm going to see him, I'm going to look to see him improve. I, I expect that from him. Um, but I think he's going to really surprise us and in the positive. So stay tuned for more on Moreno. But I really like Moreno, regardless of those um, flaws on D. That those I think they're just kinks that will be worked in time. Uh, the more steady playing time he gets, he'll, he'll become more aware, I think. Uh, on to Chan. Chan was great. Had that amazing assist for uh, Sturridge. Had him down for a minus. He got a yellow for arguing with the ref. And two positives. Uh, but Chan was pretty solid, you know. Um, 
and I have this in my notes, it just came to my memory. Chan and Lolana look like machines out there. They both look, and everybody looks thinner. Uh, and much more sharp, quick, and athletic. Klopp's got him running. He's definitely on his A game. I'm so impressed with Jurgen Klopp, guys. He's just sensational as our coach. We're so lucky to have this guy. Um, so, yeah, Chan and Lolana were just r running like machines in this game. Um, I'm going to give Chan a 9.5. I'm just really happy for what I'm seeing with Chan. Uh, Lucas only had two positives for him, but, you know, he's like a brick wall in that central midfield defending position. Going to give Lucas a nice, solid heavyweight 10. Allen was great. Joe Allen with the assist. What a pass to Sturridge. He's got talent, guys. It's not a joke. My dad and I were saying, I think the joke was, is that you'll probably catch it in the reaction vid if I find it. Uh... Like I, I said, uh, Joe Allen might become Klopp's son. And then at the end of the game, the joke was that everybody is Klopp's son. So I hope you guys like that one. I thought that that was pretty cool. Joe Allen, two pluses, one assist. Was sensational out there. Uh, Going to give Joe Allen a heavyweight 10 today. Um, Lalana, two positives, no minuses. I'll give Lalana... A light 10. Uh, but sensational, just running. Do, again, doing his role, Lillian is uh, really showing some promise here with just how he's running. I, I mean, I can't even believe these guys are the same players. Like, I'm just blown away, you know. I really am. I knew we had good guys, too. Um, but... Very surprised with uh, Origi. I'm going to just jump right into Origi right now. Speaking of surprises, uh, I was not sold on Origi. I thought maybe I was, I, I was still, um, the jury was out on Origi, but I was definitely looking at him negatively. I was not liking what I was seeing. I did see some potential. I wasn't sure, but if I had to make my, place my bet beforehand I would not have been a buyer of Origi stock and I am now I'm telling you boy did he ever impress me today and that one goal where he just banged it in I think he got the header two at the end um, and then he also got the little touch off Moreno's pretty much what I considered Moreno's goal sensational busting the scales Origi's massively busting the scales today and he didn't even, he just seemed like he was playing okay. I mean, Sturridge was getting all the action. We'll get into Sturridge. Well, let's get back into Origi. Let's not sell him short. Let's bust out a nice ranking for him. He's got five positives, no minuses, three goals. He's got the hat trick. He's got the assist. So all in all, just five positives I gave him uh, with all of that. I mean, he's got to get a 14. That was towards the end of the game where he started to shine, but that's because Sturridge went off, and I'm I'm fine with that. But you have no minuses, you have three goals and an assist. I mean, even a 14.5 with that plus in there. But Skirtle's epic game, I gave him the 14. So from the last uh, from the City game. Yeah, we'll keep Origi. I keep saying Origi. His name's Origi. Sorry, guys. My dad started calling him Origi since day one, and I can't shake it. So I'm going to try. So hang in there with me. We'll give Origi a 14. Let's go on to Ibe as Sturridge is sub. Ibe subs on. Sensational. Just have two markings for him. A wonderful assist. A wonderful goal. Boy, can he hit the ball. Boy, can he finish. Has a power on a shot that Sterling doesn't have. I'm so happy, guys. Gonna have to give Ibe uh, as a sub. As a sub, he busts the scales to a 12 for his role. On to Sturridge. Sturridge didn't have many markings for, just like most of the guys in this game. Oh, I'll throw in Henderson. Henderson got a plus, came on towards the end there for Allen. Uh, I mean... No minuses. Henderson's looking sweet out there. 
Should I rank him? There wasn't much time he's on, but for what he was, he's a light 10 for sure. Excellent. Uh, Sturridge, wow. I was saying in the reaction video, oh, five goals for Sturridge, you know, I mean, I'll pump it. I'll say crazy things, guys. I don't care. I like to have fun with this sport when I watch, and sometimes you've seen with some of my, uh, you know, my crazy calls, eh, things tend to go my way a lot of the time when I start getting like that. I don't know. I, and it must be a blessing of some sort for sure. So anyway, I get a little carried away sometimes. But Sturge got two goals and uh, one positive. Had he stayed on, who knows. Um, did get a little tweaked with the injury, or not injury, but he did t seem like he was getting a little, he got clipped and was hobbling, and then we subbed him off. Um, that's the thing, man. Like, you know, it's funny because I was ribbing Sturridge in um, my last, not my last reaction vid, but the, oh, what was that game? The Europa League game, the Bordeaux, uh, I think, reaction vid. Where I was saying, does it really matter whether Sturridge is in or not, or we have him or not? Probably, you know, if Sturridge was to see that, I'm sure he'd look at it as a low blow. <laughs> but, you know, can you blame us for all the injury woes? It's been tough, right? But then he comes in and bangs in two goals, and I was telling my dad, you know, a day or so ago, like, just watch him come in, and sure enough, we're... You know, it's a luxury player. Like um, the guy said on the channel, A Let's Up Talk, I think is his channel. I subbed to him and he hooked me up with a sub too. Uh, but yeah, he, he definitely is a luxury player. Um, we'll see. We'll see what happens with Sturridge. But we got him, you know, two goals in a suitcase. You know, uh, break, break in case you need a goal. Emergency kit. We'll see. Uh, we'll see what uh, happens here. But Klopp's got him in there. I'm so happy. 6-1. Can't go wrong. We're on fire. We're on a roll. Everything's rolling and going our way. Ooh, I feel real good, guys. I got to get back to bed here. We're busting 12 minutes in this vid. I covered my notes. One little note I have here is uh, every goal has been a great goal. Every goal was... A banger of some sorts. Um, so good. So glad. So wonderful today, guys. I think that's it. I'm going to end the vid. Look out for a great reaction vid. Um, I'm sure we got some good ones in there. We got six goals to plow through. Some pr Probably some good funny comments in there. I'll take my time with this one. The last one, I said I would check it out. I knew even beforehand there wouldn't be much footage in there. Obviously because of the only goal being a pen. And uh, I was pretty angry that game, and it was not stuff I was going to post. When I get too much, I don't like to post that stuff. I want to keep it positive. If it's comedy angry moments, that's fine, but I was legitimately, it was not, there was not much commentary either in that game. I did watch quite a bit of footage, and I thought, nah. But sure enough, when I said, uh, oh, I want, I want a goal, the pen happened, and we got it, some funny content from my dad, so sneaking in the vid. So, uh, yeah, we'll see what I, what I get in this reaction vid. There'll be a lot of meat on the bone for sure in this one. And that's it for the vid, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, subscribe, like the video, comment. I really appreciate your support, guys. Let's make this channel uh, continue to boom and make it great. And thanks again, guys. It's always a pleasure. Take care.